I got ahead of myself again. Uh, how I do the the valve springs, I I do it off the uh, alternator, turn it backwards, and I do the companion cylinders. I don't do it off the off the pin down here. So when three is when th the intake is coming up all the way up, when it's bottomed out up, and the exhaust valve starts to barely go down, then four is on its top dead center. Both of these cylinders are on top dead center, which is the compa their companion cylinders. Which, and any cylinder that adds up to uh, seven, is that right? Seven, yeah, I think it is. Any cylinder that adds up to seven is a companion cylinder. So these are companions, these are companions, and these are companions, base. And uh, that's, how, that's how I do mine. Uh, I'll try to get on that video. I just get, I try to focus pretty hard on it. I'm about to pull these uh, keepers out. Make sure my, my valves are good. I push down on them hard, make sure the cylinder is up while the keepers are still in there. So maybe it'll catch it. So I don't lose something. Uh, I need to get a magnet. I think it's in my other truck. I'm gonna have to cut the video off. Yeah, same other truck. I'm gonna have to cut the video off. Go get that. Uh, can't remember where I saw them at, so I'm just gonna do them with these good snap-on pliers. Maybe. Said that. Maybe I won't. There it is. Whew. Boy, that's scary. Probably the scariest thing I have to do on a M12 I really. I mean, you got so much that can go wrong right now. <clears throat> you could drop a keeper down in the motor. You could drop a valve down in the motor. I mean, this it's so damn dumb. It's crazy all the shit that can go wrong when you're doing this. <clears throat> I can see pretty good. Don't make no mistake. I'm gonna get him away from that motor as fast as possible. Just be smooth about it. Be smooth, smooth, smooth. I ain't gonna be able to get that. I'm gonna have to go to my unit. Got the springs out. And we're about to put the new ones in. See if the new ones, how much beefier they look than the stock ones. Oh, they look, they look way fucking beefier. huge difference i mean they just it's not just the height they're just they're just a lot beefier spring if you i don't know if you can see it on the camera but they're quite a bit beefier in, in the diameter too and i got the uh the hardened locks and retainers to go with them from power driven Same top and bottom. All right. They are good in the seats. Slap these on. 
And these are these are all try to get a comparison between these. I mean the stock ones are actually they're thicker, but this is the harder ones, this is the stock ones. They do that, I believe, for the weight. To try to cut down the weight. So there we're, we're back on. Grab the little tool, slap it on here. There we go. Try to get it lined up pretty good. You don't have any problems uh, putting your locks in there once it gets down there. Down nice, huh? I think we're going to be just fine. I'm all pushed around there. I think they're going to be good to go. Hopefully that light ain't away. I'm just make sure I get a good job here. Dang sure don't want nothing to go wrong right now. Lost my ratchet. Happens about 300 times a job. Yep. I might have to find that. There it is, right there. And y'all make fun of me. It's laying right there, isn't it? Need me one of them little power ratchet deals. That do this by hand. Looks like, looks like we're going pretty good down through there. There's a lot better videos on YouTube than me doing this. How slow and I lose everything. Trying to get some content on the channel. Trying to maybe someday have a good YouTube channel. Doing all this because I bought a 62 millimeter turbo. So. Trying to keep my truck together. I hope we don't mess it up in the, in the process. <laughs> But my dad always said, oh, if you're going to ruin that good old truck. It was a lot of fun. How, how, how far I need to go. So keep on going, I guess. That side looks plumb good. This side don't look all that good. I'm just like a minute. I don't think y'all seen y'all seen me. I, I got them push rods. I done slipped them in this in this uh, hole. Damn, we ain't quite there yet. And that side went. Bet that far side will go. I don't think I went too far. I think my problem here, I'm going to cut the video off, figure this out real quick, so I don't have to worry about that video.